Well, Our City Tonight continues along with our series called Canadian Music Icons. Last uh, month, Lee and I talked to Gord Depp of the Spoons. Uh, now it's time to talk to a member of one of the, the most popular bands in the last 40 years in Canada and a lot of parts around the world. It's Honeymoon Suite. We're looking at their first massive hit, which still sounds great, New Girl Now. Joining us on the show right now is one of the uh, founding members. It's uh, Derry Graham joining us from Illinois. Derry, welcome to Our City Tonight. Well, thank you. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're great. Hello from Canada. Uh, you are a fellow Canadian, but now residing in Illinois with your lovely family. Now, Derry, we want to hop right into this. Um, you, uh, Honeymoon Suite, got together in the early 80s. A uh, great band. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, winning that radio contest on Q107 in Toronto and how that kind of catapulted you to international fame. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that was a really uh, a really great thing. At that time, we uh, we were a cover band. When I first met Johnny, we uh, we were a six night a week cover band, and uh, we'd sneak in some of the originals uh, to the set. And one of them was New Girl Now. So the Q107 was a contest that everybody kind of wanted to jump on at that time. We we were doing anything and everything to try and get a record deal. So we cut a demo of, of it and sent it into Q. And uh, the response was just crazy, crazy. And it won that year, um, which brought the uh, attention uh, to the labels. And they all started coming out to, to the shows. And then We Are Canada came in and signed us. Happened all pretty quick, but it was amazing. Uh, Derry, uh, we were saying this to Gord Depp in our last segment. If you're not old enough to remember uh, the early 80s, how impressive it was for a Canadian band to, uh, to top the charts in Canada, of course, do extremely well in the States. It's quite common now for Canadian artists, but back then it wasn't. Talk a bit about how that, you mentioned that quick rise to fame. How tough was that to deal with? Um, you know, I think we were ready for it. Johnny and I had been in the business a while at that point, but we were still pretty young, but we'd been playing since we were kids. And then we got together, we were no strangers to being on stage. And, and the other guys in the band, just through all these nights in the bars, we'd really worked our show up and we were ready to to get out of the bars and onto some bigger stages. Now also you have to remember um, that this was the dawn of the video age too. So we had much music and MTV on our side and that just was huge in, in you know exploding the band's popularity. And you've got a new single, a well new album coming out, um, Find What You're Looking For. It sounds, it sounds the same. It sounds great. It, you haven't had to really change your music style. How are you attracting new fans? Are you just finding that they're just loving this as much as when you used to play in the early 80s? Yeah, well, um, one thing we, we don't do is change change our sound to fit what's going on in the business. I mean, we have our brand, if you will, or our sound, and uh, it's Honeymoon Suite, and that's what our fans love about us. It's the big choruses, the, you know, the melodic rock part of it. So we write the best song we can within, within our mold, and um, it's attracting a lot of younger fans who don't even know of the band. They just hear the song on the radio because although it's Honeymoon Sweet, it has a really contemporary sound as well because we've got a great producer in this one. So we're, we're lucky. It's great to be back on the charts after like 18 years. <laughs> and, you know, it's tough because you guys would be uh, obviously out touring this past summer and celebrating four decades together. As Lita mentioned, last uh, last fall single, Tell Me What You Want, and the new one, Find What You're Looking For, just sounds spectacular. Uh, you guys have not lost a beat, and I know we all get older, but uh, you guys sound as energetic, as solid, and as sharp as you did in the early 80s. Got to ask you one last question. My buddy was DJing, a good friend of mine, uh, Lita still, was DJing at Q107 uh, back in the early 80s when you guys won. Is it true, the story, that the first First line of New Girl Now, Hot Summer Night. What was the original first line? Um, well, let's say it was actually Cold Winter Night. <laughs> um, when I, I picked up on it when I was in college a few years before, and it was Cold Winter Night, but because the label wanted to put it out in the summer, they asked me to change it to Hot Summer Night, Storm Clouds <laughs> in the Air. <laughs> That's great. Great. Uh, beautiful. Hey, listen, thanks for sharing some time with us, uh, uh, Darius. As, as, as fans of your band for, well, we don't want to say how long, but we were wa watching you guys when we were kids and those great early videos. I want to say, too, Way Baby is one of our favorite songs from that era as well. Uh, Derry Grant, thank you for joining us. Continued success, and we look forward to seeing you back on the road when we get back to some sort of normal here in the world. And congratulations on the great new album. <laughs> thank you. Good, great talking with you. Thank you.